2020, not a favorite year. Uh, probably gonna live in infamy with a lot of folks for a lot of reasons for a long time, especially us gun owners. However, T and I were looking back at the year as far as the channel wise and found some great things. So we rounded up our top five for 2020. This doesn't mean the gun came out in 2020, it's just what we covered in 2020. Pistols, large format pistols and rifles. Today we've got our large format pistols here. The Devonback DBX in 5.7, the Genesis Arms Gen 12, the VZ Scorpion in 380, Lynx TAC AK pistol, and the Dracos, which we're just going to clump together because they each have their own personality. Our plan is, since ammo is pretty scarce, we're going to pop a few rounds off just freshen up uh, our thoughts on these guns and remind ourselves and then explain to you why it was that we think these guns were the best of their class for 2020. All right, first up is the DBX. We've reviewed this one most recently, so of course it came to mind instantly, especially given its slim design, um, larger caliber, and ease of use. I think I'm having a Maggie. So much fun to shoot because it just doesn't move. It's pleasant. There's no recoil. There's no large flash. Um, super impressive. So those hiccups, we highly suspect, are these very affordable Pro Mag mags. Uh, this is our first time out with the long one. Only brought the long one. Always bring a backup mag. So there might be some mag issues there. But as Tia pointed out, no recoil super soft shooting uh, another thing that i think was great about this design is the ability to use ar grips and triggers and safeties we do have an aftermarket trigger in here which lets you go fast let me try that again fast there we go <laughs> that's some quicker shooting and the five seven round you know it's a limited application round um, potentially. It depends on what you want for it and what load you pick up. At the moment, because it's 2020, we only have this lightweight uh, lead-free stuff from FN. Doesn't have tons of energy, but you know, when it comes down to delivering lots of energy with one shot, or a little bit less energy but more shots, because you can control them and put them where you want, that's where the DBX and 5.7 shine. And now for something of a different gauge, 12 gauge. The Genesis Arms Gen 12, love this thing. An effective true conversion for your AR-10 lower to run 12 gauge. They figured out a way to make it smooth. What's new in 2020 is the Van Comp barrel, which we elaborated on in the article, and 10 round mags. And man, I'm talking about dumping, dumping some get off my yard. <laughs> or out of my house. Being able to fling 12 gauge like that is just so much fun, hard to resist. This one has a hyperfire trigger in it, which is what Genesis Arms is now using for their factory lowers. But if you slap it on one of your own lowers, you can run any AR trigger and throw a 12 gauge, almost like it's 22. And you get that last round bolt hold open to know when it's time to change mags. Sadness for me. <laughs> Let's see how Tia thinks of it. So if someone would have told me that I would love 12 gauge before, I probably would have laughed at them because they're not fun to shoot in the traditional platform that you see a 12 gauge, but I love this one. <laughs> Even if it knocks me around a little bit. Go 
Go fast. <laughs> it's just, it's so much fun to do, <laughs> to, to, uh, to realize that I can do that. Um, it shoots so pleasant, <laughs> even if it's knocking me around a little bit. And the trigger, the trigger is amazing. I'm not a fast shooter. I'm working on it, but that makes it a lot easier. So much fun. The VZ Scorpion. There was so much talk in our home about this before that we got it. And Graham was just so tickled when we did at how tiny it was. And I heard about this thing for about a week before we were able to get it to the range. It's getting tired of hearing about it until I shot it. I've got to zoom in some on this tiny little gun. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first time that I've shot it that I've noticed the ejection pattern. <laughs> the lighting may be lending to that, but this thing is just so pleasant and obviously concealable. Um, great, great truck run. Great truck gun. <laughs> I zoomed uh, all the way back. Go ahead and shoot some more and I'm going to try to show folks what the ejection looks like on okay. this. Always remembering to keep your thumb out of the way of the button. There you go. And if you can see it at home, I can shoot it all day. Do have a little bit of sun glare, but it's clearing Tia by about maybe five feet and then landing just behind her on the ground so you get this wonderful arc up over your head and then coming down right behind you fold it up it's so tiny uh, we had a fun shoot with or gear the or gear channel um, with this it inspired him to get his own he actually sbr'd his uh, we've got the matador arms sidewinder folder on here and the strong arm brace from double star and it makes for a tiny little package Z, I basically have to wrap my whole body around it to get on here, but it is so controllable. Ooh, I don't know if the microphone heard the brass hit. I'll pop off a few and then we'll wait for that pause and hopefully the mic will hear the, the brass hitting. <laughs> the, the delay, I hope the, the microphone caught that. The delay is priceless. Um, so much fun to shoot. Very compact. Um, when the Portland riots were going nuts, this guy was in the car. Because though it is only 380, you can easily get 20 rounds of 380 in this little mag. And the package fits so tightly. This is something you can even shoot it folded with this with our uh, Double Star Strong Arm and Matador Sidewinder combo here, you can shoot it like this, it's still functional, and you've got a get off me gun, and yeah, it's 380, but 380 is better than 22, better than 32, 25, maybe it's not quite nine, but it also keeps it quieter and more controllable, and as you saw in our review of this, with a can on, 380 is subsonic, so it's really freaking quiet. So you get a nice compact, piece of firepower that's fun to shoot, cool historically. Uh, I didn't even notice that the Winter Soldier used it in all the Marvel movies until someone said, oh, like the Winter Soldier? Here I am thinking back to all the Cold War stuff of how cool the Scorpions were. Uh, but yeah, same gun that the Winter Soldier had. He wasn't shooting 380 though, but fun gun. Not to mention that design just says, I have a little bit more experience. It's just a lot it's a more in-your-face presence than a traditional handgun that somebody might wield. True, true. I mean, I would never want any gun pointed at me, but uh, this little thing coming out says, I have an intent. <laughs> I mean business, and I know how to conduct business. Yeah. Um, <laughs> plus, it's just loads of fun to shoot. They make them in other calibers, but always out of stock. Uh, we've, I looked into some conversions. They even do a 22 version, which I think might be fun. But anyways, that's a VZ Scorpion from Checkpoint USA. Next up, an AK pistol. This is from WBP. Also have a Matador Arms Sidewinder on it with an SB Tactical Brace. 
Um, these were fun after we had some not fun. So we had a terrible experience with a pair of Zostava USA guns. Got rid of those and it was recommended that we take a look at these and I'm glad we did. Better fit and finish, uh, more features. You've got rail over the sight block, rail up front, this nice extended mag release and safety and they just shoot really nicely. The recoil impulse is smooth. The barrel's long enough that the fireball is out there a little ways. They're just a smooth running gun. And man, for an AK pistol, this is pretty premium. Let's and see that fireball again. <laughs> oh. oh, had a jam. some good fireball it's yes. warming me up it's december here and it's a little chilly i probably should have a jacket on but with the jack i don't need the jacket <laughs> <laughs> when graham first asked me what my choices would be for large frame pistols this one came to mind because that he bought us a pair and i thought that was really special um and in the sense that it's just a lot more refined than your typical AK. Uh, it's not as rudimentary, it's well put together, all the lines blend, there's no sharp spots, and they shoot really nice. Okay. I love that there's just minimal recoil on that and that they're just so pleasant to shoot. And again, there's no sharp edges. The extended mag release makes it easy for me to, it's not a mag release, it's the safety, but it's easy to use, <laughs> which makes using it, the, the whole thing, even more fun. <laughs> Our other choice for large format pistols were of course the Sentry Dracos. For me, it was because of the novelty in that we had all of them to to shoot compare enjoy you know to show the to compare and contrast basically um and they can be fun to shoot <laughs> i haven't shot them in a while i can tell you with the flash that I get off of this when I'm shooting it, it's distracting. Not in that there's a flash, but that it's so close to my face. <laughs> so I appreciate the, the brace, um, which, you know, yeah, I, I don't know if I'd want to shoot it without them, <laughs> but they're fun. So as you saw in the intro, we showed all three Dracos. This is the micro, the smallest of the three, um, that quite frankly, prior to that article that we had them in for, I thought was more of a range toy than anything. I mean, the, the percussion and the fireball is pretty monstrous, as I'm sure you've seen. And it's <laughs> almost bewildering, and this is with the flash hider on it. Um, but as we showed you in the article, um, Nah, there, there's actually, this little guy is putting out 40% of the muzzle energy of a regular 16 inch AK, which means for something so small and compact, easy to transport, we found it fits in the door cards of our car <laughs> with a folding brace on it. Um, that's a lot of firepower in a small package and they're pretty fun. You know, the, the Kujir Romanian guns aren't as pretty as like the WBP as far as finish on them, but it's still very old world without being crude. Uh, some of the other AKs out there coming from the East uh, look kind of crude and rudimentary. These are a, a basic build, but it's it's that, that Eastern European craftsmanship kind of feel to it. it it's got a, a nice a romantic East block feel that I think a lot of people who enjoy AKs like we do, um, enjoy that aspect of it. So it's cool to have them. The micro has this nice curved piece of wood that really helps you 
keep <laughs> find a place to put your hand. Um, and like I said, 40% of the energy of a rifle and something much smaller, much more compact. Still very controllable. <laughs> With thunder that rolls for days and a big old fireball. I mean, it's fun and still useful.